now. It's the Oakshot Opinion. This time two years ago, we were a few days into the first national lockdown in history, having been told that it was three weeks to flatten the curve. Remember that? Well, I think it's right to reflect on where we are now and what we've learned. And I'm going to do something a little bit different this morning, uh, or really, it's almost afternoon now, and address my thoughts to one particular person, Dragon's Den star Deborah Meaden. Earlier this week, I questioned why, long after the pandemic is over, so many people are still wearing masks, even outside. After all, we now know these bits of cloth are completely useless unless they're properly fitted medical grade masks. And when did you last see anyone out and about with one of those on? I put out a tweet observing that you can open the prison door, but some people will always prefer captivity. Well, that seemed to upset quite a lot of people, including TV star Deborah, a dragon who certainly can't breathe any fire because her nose and mouth are covered by a mask. This dragon, it seems, is still in semi-hiding. Now, Deborah told me that, quote, without knowing people's worries or vulnerabilities, it's best just not to comment. Well, Deborah, I've got news for you. It's my job to comment. That is literally what I do. I do it for a living. The clue's in the title. I'm a political commentator. And let's be honest, masks are political. Unless you happen to work in a hospital or a laboratory, they're frankly nothing to do with medicine or genuine infection control. They are, in my view, completely unnecessary symbols of fear and repression. And it's time everybody put them right back where they belong, in the bin. Now, look, I do believe in freedom of choice. And it's great that in this country you can walk down the street wearing a burqa, if that's what your religion demands of you, or a pair of hot pants and a bikini top if the weather's nice enough. If people want to carry on muzzling themselves, then good luck to them. They're free to do that if they want. But I'm not going to pretend I don't frankly find it pretty weird, that I don't think they're a bit daft, or even that I don't think it's a good thing for this country. It is not a good thing for this country if a bunch of people are still going around hiding their faces so the rest of us can't see them properly, don't know if they're smiling, can't hear what they're saying as they mumble behind their muzzles, don't know if they're happy or sad. Now, Peter, people on Twitter say, don't judge. Well, actually, I do judge, because after two years of fear and repression, it's time to move on. Deborah, we know what works now and what doesn't when it comes to controlling the spread of this virus. And we know that wearing masks is no longer, and frankly never was, a tool that we need against a virus that is fortunately no longer such a threat. I think it's time to feel the sun on our faces and open up to each other to stop treating each other as biohazards. That isn't good or kind. It puts up unnecessary barriers between us. These masks are a symbol of what was, not of our brighter future. In my view, they're an ugly relic of a campaign of fear and manipulation, the likes of which I hope we will never see in this country again. So Deborah Meaden, she says she'll keep wearing the mask, I quote, for others. And that, to me, is the ultimate virtue signal. But when you think about it, it's not so nice. You see, Deborah, if you've got or might have coronavirus, the best way you can protect others is keeping away from them entirely. If you think, Deborah, that you might be a super spreader, take a lateral flow test or just stay at home. And if you haven't got it, then why hide your face? We'd all really like to see you. Nobody in this country is required by law to wear a mask anymore, and the laws of common sense say everybody should have ditched these completely useless rags long ago. You, Deborah, can help send out the message that it's time to stop being frightened. You can lead by example, help people feel free. And until you do that, and I say this very respectfully, you're not part of the solution or being kind, you are part of the problem. That's the Oakshot opinion.